being able to edit text and edit its content and move it around is all very well. But really what I would like to be able to do is to change sort of various other attributes of the font that's being used. So for example, if, we, if we've got text here, um, you can see it's just a standard sort of looking text. It doesn't really look very inviting, looks very sterile. Certainly does when you compare it to what I'm seeing over here. Now this type font is a little bit more interesting and it's going to get my attention a little bit more. So certainly if I'm trying to sort of uh, highlight certain areas of my drawing and I want to sort of draw people's attention to it and I want to make sure that they they sort of notice these particular elements and areas then what I might consider doing is changing the type font. So what we've got here is the text is actually of a specific style and if I come to my annotate option up here and I look at standard and I look at that drop down you'll see that there is just a standard text style and in actual fact that that type of text fits that standard text style quite well. So what happens if I want to change that text style? Well really what I've got to do is I've got to go to manage text styles. So I'll press manage text styles and up comes my text style management box. There's an awful lot of boxes in, um, in AutoCAD that seem to be hidden. So you can see here we've only got the one standard style. So I'll create a new style uh, and I'll leave the name at style one. And what I then want to do is I want to change the type of font that it is. Now, I'm quite happy just to pick one here called Vedana, but you notice there's a difference. This is an AutoCAD font and this is a Vedana font. This is a true type font. Now, the main difference between them is that a AutoCAD font you can write vertically. That is one letter sat on top of another. Whereas with something like a true type font, you won't be able to because they're not designed to do that. So do bear that in mind if you have a requirement to write text where it's one letter on top of another. Try not to pick a true type font. Now I've got that text in there. I'm also going to make it annotative and I'm going to set its paper height to be 5mm. So that 5mm will mean that no matter what size piece of paper I choose or what scale I choose to work at, my text will always be drawn and plotted out at 5mm high on the paper. So that's quite important, that's quite a, sort of a new feature, it's come in, in the last few iterations of AutoCAD and really it's very very useful. So I don't want to write it upside down, I don't want to write it back to front. You can see here in the, in the corner we've got a preview of what will happen. I just want to leave it as it is. So I've now got that set, I'm going to set that as current, it's already been applied and then I'll close that. So Nothing seems to have happened now until I select all of these elements of text just here and I go to my standard font to the drop down and you'll notice that now we have a style one available to us. So when I click on that style one the text does appear to disappear. Now that's because we've set it to be annotative and our annotative scale is one for one. So if you think that this is a great big building and it's drawn at one to one in order for me to view this building, say it's 20 meters long, in order for me to view that at this scale, I'd have to be standing on a very, very tall ladder. And if my text is at five millimeters, it's going to look very small. And I'd have to come right the way in here to be able to see that text and to see that it does actually say sleeping quarters. To view that correctly in my viewport, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to my annotation scale and I'm gonna set it at one to 50 because that's what the drawing is drawn at. And lo and behold, there we go, sleeping quarters. So I know now that when I come to plot this drawing out, that probably I want to be having it at a scale of 1 to 50, and that maybe I might need to pick a large, slightly larger piece of paper in order to, to fit that on. But, you know, at least I can see the text now. It's not going to affect the size of the text in the plot space, but what I've done is I've used my text styles to change this text from being this rather sterile, rather thin and reedy looking, sort of standard AutoCAD text to being a much nicer looking type font that people will be more willing to read and more willing to pay attention to.